acne. How well do you know them? On Wish Trend TV versus Acne, we're gonna be talking about all you need to know about acne from the basics to dermatologist approved acne treatments as well. So, we're gonna do a continual course for a while for you guys, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification button. Hey guys, welcome back to Wish Trend TV. It's your sister Eunice here, and I'm so happy to see you guys. On the very first week, guys, we're gonna be talking about the ultimate question, which is acne. To pop or not to pop? And to answer this for you guys, we're gonna be going to a very special place. So let's go. let's go! So we are here to meet a dermatologist to ask all the questions. So let's go! So we're here. Can you please introduce yourself? Yes. Yeah. Uh, my name is DK. I go by Dr. Q on YouTube. I'm um, running a dermatologist clinic in Seoul. Been doing this for about three years. Mm, I see. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a it's pleasure a really to meet you too. yeah. It's a nice place you got here. Round one. Type of acne. So this is the pore where our hair grows out from, and this is the spacious one, and this is the semen. So this is a white head. This is a black head. The difference between them is whether the hole is open or not. If the hole is open, the semen gets oxidized and becomes black. That's hence they're called blackheads. But if it's clogged up with keratin, keratin, it's it doesn't get oxidized and it stays white. That's why it's called whitehead. Blackheads, blackheads don't usually get uh, inflammated because it's open. Uh, the acne bacteria doesn't like air, so if the pores open, it doesn't grow substantially and cause inflammation. But if the holes closed due to keratin, they usually grow a lot and causes inflammation. So black hats usually don't turn into severe acne, but white hats can. I'm not saying they always do. But yeah, all the severe acne is usually caused by whiteheads. Round two, millet seed acne. To pop or not to pop? So are we supposed to pop whiteheads? It's not a clear do or don't situation. If it's inflammatory, it might be beneficial to pop it. If it's not, it's probably not worth doing it. If you're not gonna leave a scar, do it. But if you're gonna leave a bigger scar than just leaving it alone, don't do it. I see, I see. Uh, there are whiteheads with infection, and there are other kinds of whiteheads without the infection. Is this correct? Not really. Almost all whiteheads mm -hmm. are infected with the acne bacteria. Mm -hmm. I might, if we get a chance, I'll, I'll show you a picture of your the model that you brought in. Mm -hmm. And one thing that we need to clear up is infection and inflammation is not the same thing. Infection just means the presence of bacteria or viruses. Inflammation means your immune system is fighting something. And that something isn't always bacteria or virus. Your body can fight itself. So there are sometimes self-inflammatory diseases like and this is the extra extraction bottle that you guys brought. So put it let's put it simply. Um, these aren't inflammations. And you can totally tell it with your bare eyes, right? But these, these are pores that are infected by the acne bacteria. The semen that's not infected looks white like this. But see these, see how red this is compared to this one? The redness is caused by porphyrin, which the which is made by the bacterial, uh, the acne bacteria. That's why it looks red. So and for just a regular person like me, it would be hard to tell the difference, right? Is this correct? No, it's pretty clear. Oh, if yeah? it's red, swollen, and it hurts, it's 
Don't, don't pull me this. Oh, okay, easy. Uh, why can't we pop them ourselves? Because it's so, you know, addicting and, you know, it can get... You want to pop it, you know, if you know that you need to remove them. So why shouldn't we pop it ourselves? I'll never say... I never tell people not to pop them. Popping it's okay unless you're really bad at doing it and you're gonna leave a bigger scar. When you're pop, like the decision to pop or not pop the zit is very simple. Mm -hmm. If you think you'll leave a smaller, short lasting scar, then by extracting it, then not extracting it, go ahead and do it. But right. if you think just leaving it alone will leave a short, lasting, less severe scar, then don't extract it. Mm, I see, I see. Round 3. Pustule acne. To pop or not to pop? Is it correct that pustule acne must be extracted in order for it to heal? I don't know. I wouldn't say so. Mm -hmm. But in a lot of cases, it would be beneficial right. to remove the pus. Because maybe it can get better faster, maybe in yeah. a way, of just kind of leaving it until it pops on its own or things like that. Yeah, because the pus might act as a center for infection and inflammation to grow. Mm -hmm. So in a lot of cases, it's beneficial to remove the pus, but I wouldn't say you absolutely have to. Mm, perfect, thank you so much. Um, we're aware that it's important to extract the postal acne at the right time. I guess this is like when we see the yellowish pus and stuff like that. Is this correct? Is this the right timing? Like I said, if it's getting worse, it might be worth doing it. But if it's getting better, it might not be. But in both stages, the yellow pus that you see, can yeah. actually see on the surface of your skin is present. So. So, so I would say yes, mm -hmm. but not really yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's not, this isn't math. So right, you right. can't say like in this situation, you absolutely have to do this or that. It's not, it's not programming. That's why we need Dr. Q. <laughs> but okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Do we leave them alone until it gets yellow then? Because we, as we think of it as it's like the perfect timing. Um, no, not really. Mm -hmm. like, you know, even even professionals might have different opinions. So right. if you ask another doctor, they might give you a different answer. But me personally, no, I usually don't wait till uh, it gets that bad. Right, right. Like, if I can totally feel the inflammation and I feel it growing, I just extract it. I see, I see. Okay, that's that's a really good fact to know because I didn't know that. Um, uh, what happens if you just leave it alone and you don't pop pustel acne? Do you think it's gonna leave an acne scar or mark or enlarge our pores? That totally depends on cases. I like I said, the pus can act as a center for the infection and inflammation to grow. Mm -hmm. And in that case, if you leave it alone, it might leave a big dented scar. Right, like, right, you, know, right. you, you, you must have heard of like ice pick scar, yes, box scar, yes. scar, and like rolling scar. Mm -hmm. If you leave really bad pustular, pustular acne alone for a long time, it might leave one of those really big scars. So, yeah, if you're prone to getting scars by leaving them alone, of course you're gonna need treatment. But if you've, had, if you've gotten pustular acne once or twice and they don't usually leave a scar, then you might be okay leaving it alone. Perfect. What are the treatments needed for acne that is not red but feels hard when you touch it? Like I remember when I went to the dermatologist, I sometimes they gave me like um, the shots for the infection. I know that it has a little bit of steroid in it too, I heard. So can you tell us a little bit about that? So redness mm -hmm. and swelling, the, the hardness that you talk about is because of swelling. Mm -hmm. Redness, swelling, uh, sensation of heat, mm -hmm. those are all signs of inflammation. Right. So you can't distinguish like red, you can't say red scar is different from a swollen scar. Right. They're, they're both pores with inflammation. Mm -hmm. So 
Sorry, what was your question? So, like, what? <laughs> so, when you are in this case, so what cases do you give the shots then that I just talked about, like the infection shots or in Korea we say young mm. juice, right? Right. Mm. So this is also pretty subjective. Mm -hmm. I give those shots to those pores that are inflammating mm -hmm. and swelling is definitely one of those signs right, and right. redness is another one of those signs right. but you can tell you can usually tell by looking mm -hmm. that oh this pore is getting worse mm -hmm. this pore is getting better, better. Mm, I see I see um, and I just mentioned that I heard that there's steroid in it so yeah. Maybe sometimes it won't be it will be necessary, but other times it won't be really good for you to get too many too often, right? Is this correct? Or is it uh, okay? Not really. It's mm -hmm. it, there's very little amount of steroid, mm -hmm, and it's, we're not using it systematically, so it's not gonna give you a full or anything. Right. And one more personal question. You know oh, how? But oh. you do have to be careful with those steroid shots because uh, sometimes they'll leave it'll cause your fat to shrink so you might get a dented scar oh really like so you have to you do have to be careful huh? how deep you put it in or like how much you put it, it does in. that doesn't really matter if you're unlucky you get it <gasps> oh that's shocking i didn't know that oh interesting so if i have a pimple that i know it's gonna grow bigger that. it, it would be wiser for me to get the shot then right so it can kind of calm it down Yep, I got one here. Oh, you did? did? Two days ago. <laughs> I see, I see. So, do you give it yourself? Yeah. Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> Thank you so much for your information. I loved picking on your brain today. It was very helpful. I learned so much today. So, thank you so much. Did thank you, you guys for watching. <laughs> Round four, Wish Trend TV skincare tip. All right, now, the skincare tips from Wish Trend TV. All right, guys, I know that you guys are asking, Ani, is there anything that I can do to speed up the process? And yes, thank you so much for asking because I've been wanting to talk about this for so long. For to speed up the process, you can use products with mandelic acid or sulfur. Mandelic acid helps with the soothing of the inflammation. And if you use it right before your extraction period, it's gonna help to chemically and gently remove the dead skin cells, which is gonna help with the extraction itself. Sulfur is generally well known as an ingredient to help with anti-inflammation, antibacterial, it helps to control sebum at the same time, and it's good for soothing as well. It's usually recommended for people with acne-prone skin types that has concerns of sebum and clogged pores due to buildup of dead skin cells. So when you are breaking out, sulfur is a great ingredient and it's very recommended. And according to the review of our Wishtrend staff, this product is amazing. It's gonna help to turn your red postural acne into a yellowish one so it can heal faster. Alright guys, so to know more about how to extract acne properly, you have to come back for week 2. Thank you guys so much. If you have any questions about acne, please leave it in the comments below and we will check every single one of them and get back to you. Thank you and we will see you in the next one. Bye, Wishtrenders!